In Revelation 17, 5, we read, And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. For those unaware, Babylon was a pagan nation. When the prophet John is exposing the Roman beast system in Revelation, that has a woman writing upon it, which I go into detail on video number one of the Pure Facts and Prophecy series, this impure woman has the name Babylon the Great etched in her forehead, proving she will be a church that will embrace paganism. And as for her being the mother of harlots, of which I may do a video on someday soon, since the onset of the Vatican II Council's ecumenical movement, every denomination on earth has made the beast system in Rome the mother of all the harlots, or apostate churches as we call them today. So much so, all of them embrace her pagan holidays, her immediate life after death dogma, her false prophecies like the seven-year trib or secret rapture, the sign of the cross, her spurious Sabbath of Sunday, and many, many more of her false doctrines and false prophecies. As also expected, all of them have joined her one world church, including the so-called Seventh-day Adventist church. All of them send tithes to the Pope in obedience to their long prophesied mother. Well, that all being said, Besides the fact the Pope recently promoted and glorified a half-naked pagan goddess on camera inside Vatican walls, do the Popes and prelates of Rome ever admit in writing that they have embraced and even merged paganism into their religious orders, their ceremonies, and rituals? Just to name a few. And do other religious scholars speak on this long-prophesied pagan embrace of the Roman Catholic Vatican? Well, notice this. It has often been charged that Catholicism is overlaid with many pagan incrustations. Catholicism is ready to accept that accusation and even to make it her boast. The great god Pan is not really dead. He is baptized. And has Rome boasted of their pagan embrace? Notice what Roman Catholic Cardinal Newman admits in his book. He said, The use of temples and these dedicated to particular saints and ornamented on occasions with branches of trees, incense, lamps, and candles, votive offerings on recovery from illness, holy water, asylums, holy days, and seasons, the use of calendars, processions, blessings on the fields, sacerdotal vestments, the tonsure, the ring in marriage, turning to the east, and then images at a later date, the ecclesiastical chant, and the Kyrie eleison, are all of pagan origin and sanctified by their adoption into the church. And then he also stated that the penetration of the religion of Babylon became so general and so well known that Rome was called the New Babylon. And then it stated that the church did everything it could to stamp out pagan rites, but had to capitulate and allow the rites to continue with only the name of the local deity changed to some Christian saint's name. And finally, the popes filled the place of the Vatican emperors at Rome, inheriting their power, their prestige, and their titles from paganism. Thank you for watching. God bless.